Good morning everybody. It is Monday morning now and I'm in Spain. So this week I am staying in the Murcia region of Spain on behalf of the Travel Hack. There's just three of us um, bloggers. Um, we're going to be in a different area throughout the week. I'm um, just learning about the region and the different things got going on. Um, we've had an epic day so far and um, the most epic lunch. It's probably about four or five now, so very long lunch. We're going to walk off that lunch. A bit windy, but beautiful and fresh air. And this is such a gorgeous part of Methia. Oh my goodness, it is so windy. So we've just been blown across the coastal path and we've just stood over there. Pretty much strangled myself with my own scarf. Um, but it's, yes, very exhilarating. And the sky is changing as the sun sets. And yeah, pretty cool. Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday and we are in Cartagena. So we've had breakfast, we've checked out, it's very windy again today. Um, hopefully it will calm down and not be as windy as yesterday. The sun is out and we're on a walking tour around Cartagena. Just been to the top of the hill to the highest point for a view out of the natural harbour and all the castles around the mountain range. And now we're heading down to some Roman ruins. So we're at a Roman theatre, which was actually only discovered in the 1980s. Um, took a couple of decades to excavate and um, only just opened about five or six years ago. So it's pretty impressive indeed. And they've recreated some of it um, so we get an idea of what it used to look like. So what we're on right now is the stage facing out to the stands. drive down the coast to Agias, which is a very lovely resort looking um, city, very pretty. Uh, checked into our hotel quickly and we are now going on a tapas tour. So first stop on our tapas tour um, and we've tried some fresh tuna which was incredible. So we had tuna tartare and some on uh, like a bruschetta style toast. There was some octopus, so there was an octopus croquette which I tried. It wasn't my favourite though. Um, and there was octopus, um, whole octopus tentacle with chips but I couldn't face I couldn't face the octopus on it on its own so I didn't try that but it was really nice and this place is super cute it feels very Spanish which is what we're here for so we've just popped into a sport shop just your average sports shop and the floor is completely see through it's glass because we're on top of Roman baths and in order to have a shop here, they had to agree to... Yeah. That's pretty cool. Second tapas down. That was really tasty, especially the homemade crisps. Those were so Moorish. Um, and now we're on to the third one, walking through this beautiful square. It's so chilled out here. Hi 
everybody, it is Wednesday and we are now in Mercia. It's the main city in the area of the Mercia region and we've come to one of the most famous tapas restaurants for lunch. There's loads of activity going on, going on here. All the tapas is being prepared in front of us and it smells amazing in here. I just can't quite explain how incredible the smell is in here. So we just had an incredible tapas dinner. I might have had a few too many glasses of red wine as well. It was pretty epic. A lot of laughter, a lot of wine, a lot of good food. We're now on a walking tour around Messia. Um, sun's about to go down and then I think we're being interviewed by the local radio station. No, TV station, so that should be interesting. Um, yeah, so far, very pretty. We're in the main square at the moment and this looks like a cathedral. it's loud around here. Um, we just got pulled out of our guided tour because the television company from the Mercia region has just turned up and they want to interview us. Um, I don't really speak a word of Spanish. <gasps> and there's Sephora! Oh my god! Totes going shopping in there in a minute. Um, yeah, so we're about to be interviewed, I think, for the TV. Um, and I'm like a total state. I didn't wash my hair today, I haven't done my makeup. Oh my god, what the hell. Oh, and I think it's live telly, which is even worse and scarier. Okay, so that was a random afternoon. We had tapas, we went on a quick walking tour of Mercia. Then we were interviewed for the local regional news station. Then a bit more of a tour of the old quarter. And then we've driven to Archina, which is about half an hour from Mercia. And we've come to a spa hotel, um, straight into my swimmers. And we're down to the pool spa circuit area to have a tour, enjoy some of the thermal baths and yeah, chill out for the rest of the evening. So we've had a tour of the thermal facilities and we've all got to wear these very snazzy swim pants. Everyone does, male and female. So we're going to go through some of the sauna and steam area, there's an igloo area and yeah, we've only got half an hour, it's not very long so we just need to sort of make the most of relaxing while we can. So about quarter two they turned up all the lights as we were in the pools but we were sneaky and stayed in while we were dark and we finally left and found out there are no towels here. So we're soaking wet and we're about to go outside to get to the hotel bit. We're going to be freezing because we're wet and it's cold outside. Yeah, so um, it is November in Spain, um, so it is getting a bit chilly at night and we're inland a bit. So it's pretty cold coming over in the roofs and now we're soaking wet. Let's see how this goes. Come on, let's go, let's go. <laughs> no, it's refreshing. Okay, so I'm here first thing in the morning, it's 8am and we're about to have a mud treatment. I think they're going to cover me in mud, wrap me up like a sausage roll and leave me for 20 minutes to bake. Good morning everybody, it is now Thursday in Mercia. We have woken up at the spa hotel. Um, first thing in the morning we went for the mud treatment, which was very interesting. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. Um, had some breakfast and now we're just going for a little walk around the grounds. It's very beautiful, very fresh. I think it's gonna start warming up and then um, we're on to wine this afternoon.
So we saw all this. Well, that's the point. We didn't see any of it because we had the tour at night. So we missed all this. But this is the sort of outdoor sunbathing area. There's a pool, which is half in, half out. We've got the rather dramatic, well, not mountains, I guess, cliffs, hills behind us. And then back here is where you have the spa facility where we were for like 15 minutes last night. Oh, this is so nice. Back in the sort of spa area where you have the saunas um, at different temperatures. Behind me it's for maintenance, but that's the lemon pool where it's just water filled with lots of lemons. Over here is the salt one, which is my favorite. There's 100 grams of salt per liter water. It's a hot stone bed. There's a thermal shower thing over there. And then the best bit, is the igloo. We're driving through the um, Rocotta Valley region and it's full of lemon and orange growth. I think maybe le lemon. And we've um, stopped in this village quickly because it's so picturesque, it's so pretty, called Ocus, which I guess means eyes. So I'm just walking down here um, to get some photos. It is so picturesque. We've been to the Wine Museum, which was pretty interesting, and now we've driven out into wine country, and it's absolutely stunning here. Obviously, because it's autumn, the colours are changing, it's all yellows and oranges and reds, and um, absolutely stunning. So we're just waiting to find the owners of this vineyard, and then I think we're having a bit of a tour, maybe try some wine, and hopefully take some great photos, because it is so picturesque. had a wonderful time at the wine place, um, sampled some delicious wine. I'm feeling a little bit slurry because we haven't had lunch. We're going to go and find some food and then I don't know what's happening after that. But it's all been lots of fun. We've just had our lunch which was at like five o'clock so kind of early dinner really. Late lunch, um, very tasty actually. Had a couple more glasses of red wine. Um, this place is so quiet. Really, really nice. Um, and now we're about 20 minutes away from our next stop. Um, check into the hotel and then we're supposed to have a walking tour so we need to be quick because the light is fading. I think it's about five o'clock now. So we've rushed to our next stop and we've come to one of the five most important religious cities in Catholicism, which is this church. We legged it up the hill. There's really pretty sunset behind me. It's purple ahead of me. It's a golden orange. We're just grabbing some photos and some video and then hopefully find out a bit about the history of this church, cathedral, city area. Good morning everybody, it is Friday and uh, bleh, 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 start again. Good morning everybody, it is Friday and we are in the very Alright, there's a bell going off, I'll wait for that to finish. Okay, good morning everybody, it is Friday and we are in the very charming town of Caravaca. I think I've said that right. Um, we're at a higher elevation, so it's a bit cooler and that's why I'm wearing a massive scarf right now. Just had some breakfast and we're off for a walk through the town, I think up to a high point to get a nice view.
we are back in the city of Mercia uh, on the way back to the airport today. Um, come for a bit of a walk. We're in a courtyard, um, part of a nunnery, I think. Um, I think it's a religious space, really beautiful. We've got oranges, I think, growing on the tree behind us. The bell's going off. I think it must be midday or something, I don't know. market now and it's time for lunch so we're going to buy ourselves some fish maybe some meat and then we're going to have a tapas style at the front of the market. So that was awesome. We were in the market and we picked up some uh, fish and some seafood and we went to a tapas bar where the guy there charges two euros per cook. Um, we had some wine and some beer and some of the fresh fish and seafood and a couple of glasses of red wine down. They talked me into it. It's very casual, very much street food. It was so fresh and tasty and sociable and generally awesome. That might have been one of my favourite experiences of the trip. <laughs> 